All right, let's do the convolution of a delta function with a delayed step function. So we convert delta t to tau, and then we convert ut to ut um, with the parameter minus tau. And it turns out to be the original function. Why is this so? Well, let's look at it. Remember, ut minus 1, when we put it in with the minus tau parameter, flips it around the y-axis. And so it's kind of delayed by 1. So it, right now, these don't overlap, so there's really nothing to integrate, even back here. All right. So it takes 1 second before they start to overlap. And then right here, we are integrating a delta function with a step function, which just happens to be 1 at time equals 0. We use the sampling theory, and we get 1. All right. Then as this continues, we're always sampling the, the step function. So it's always, in this case, 1 as time goes on. And what that means is, when we use the delta function in this way, we just get the original function. And if the delta function were delayed, right? If we started off at minus one, it would have it would just take two seconds to get uh, going, and so it would be delayed by minus two seconds.